Now let's go out to Laurel right now, uh, which is, uh, we have Evan Kozlov who's right outside the suspect's home. So Evan, what do we know right now? Well, honestly, we'll never understand why somebody does something like this. We just have to accept that. But we could try to get a better picture of what was at least going on in his head. Uh, first off, let me just tell you where exactly I am. This is the apartment complex where he lived. It's the second one back to my right, your left right there. And as we ask this question, you know, why would somebody do this? Why did he do this? Uh, we get some hints by looking at this defamation lawsuit that he filed. We want to give you some details. This is Jared Ramos, arrested for the horrific shooting. And to find out why he did all this, detectives have been combing through his Laurel home, searching his computers and his social media. And that's key because that's how the suspect is connected with the newspaper. It all comes together in this defamation suit filed in a Maryland court. The documents show that the suspect stalked a high school classmate on Facebook, messaging the woman, quote, have another drink and go hang yourself. Don't contact you again. I don't give an expletive. He pleaded guilty to all of this. When he went to court, the paper covered the case. They wrote an article with the title, Jared wants to be your friend. But the suspect read the article and then said it was false, filing a lawsuit against them. The judge looked it over and disagreed, at one point saying there's not one piece of evidence and, quote, a lawyer would almost certainly have told him not to proceed with this case. So we've been talking about how admirable it is that this paper released, you know, their edition today. I want to reference this tweet right here from somebody that works over at the Capital Gazette. He wrote, I can't sleep. So I'll do the only thing I can and report. This is at 3.15 this morning. Put out that information. Yes, five counts of first degree murder. And there's going to be a bail hearing today, this morning at 10.30. But obviously just a lot of emotions. As we try to wrap our heads around this, why would somebody do this? Reese, I'll send it back to you.